Welcome to Static Keys. In previous video, we installed WordPress on Azure. In this video, we will configure our custom domain to this WordPress app so that we can access this WordPress website through our custom domain. Let's get started. Now, let's go ahead and open the Azure portal. As we are on the Azure portal here, we will go ahead and just scroll down to see our recent app which we have. So here it was our CCTV guy. Let me open it. As you can see that it is running status our default domain was it and we will change this and we will point it to our custom domain in order to do that we will go ahead and scroll down and here you will see the option of custom domain under the domains you can simply click on add custom domains from here if you can't find this option you can simply also go to the left hand corner service sections here you will find the settings in the settings you will get the option for the custom domain once you are in the custom domain just simply click on add custom domain button here so if you have a domain in this microsoft azure app service domain then you can simply select it otherwise you can go with the all other domain services in my case i have domain with the different service provider so i will select all other domain i will use it as a default because i will be using this app service manager certificate tls ssl would be the default i'm just going to put here the domain name which i will be using to access this wordpress website i am using my subdomain as a my custom domain you can either go with the subdomain or you can use your root domain it's completely up to you but i'm using subdomain as i typed my domain name here it gave me the options to add these records in my domain For the domain validation so in order to do that i will simply go ahead and open my domain and here on the dns zone i will create a new dns as provided by the azure firstly we have a c name so we will set up a c name here so let me copy this value go back to your domain add a record type here i will select a c name as our record name was wp and the value is this i just paste it now click on save go back to the azure now here you can see that there is a txt record i will copy the host go back to your dns zone editor add a type new record here in our case it was txt i will select it just paste it we will go back to the portal i'm just copying the value and here on the dns record i just paste the value which we had and simply click on save record once it is done you can go back to the portal and click on validate validation process may take time as it takes time to update the records in our case validation is passed i'm just going to click on add now you can see that it is adding custom domain and ssl binding now you can see that the custom domain and ssl binding is done and we have our custom domain here and it also showing it is secure so it means the ssl is binding properly now let me go ahead and open this domain and see if it is working here we go you can see that the website which we install on the default domain now it is connected to our custom subdomain which is wp.cctvguide.online now let me go ahead and try to log into our wordpress dashboard if it is working fine logged in so here you can see that we are logged into our wordpress dashboard so far we have successfully configured our custom domain in the wordpress in our next upcoming videos we will go ahead and install the wordpress theme and configure the plugins which so that we can go ahead and create a new good looking website on this wordpress thank you for watching for more upcoming videos please do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for future notifications